Okay, so you want to auto sort data in Google Sheets. You don't want to pay for an add-in and you want to sort the data in place. You don't want to have a separate copy of the data where the sort is performed. Now I'll show you how it works in this example. If I add some scores here, it's going to sort those scores automatically in descending order. So let's see how this can be done. So to use this method, you're going to need to copy the script that I've provided in the link in the description of this video. So follow that link and then copy the code. The code is going to look like this. So I'll copy it from here. Then what you need to do is you need to go to the extensions menu and then to apps script. Select what's already in the script window and then control V to paste the script that I've provided over what's already there. Now there's a number of things you're gonna to need to change. The first thing is the name of the sheet that you want to apply the sort to. So in my original example, the name of the sheet was scores. You can see it down there, bottom left. And that's why it says scores there. Keep the speech marks and just put in the name of your sheet. This number here is the position of the column that you want to sort by. So I put in two there because in my example, the score column is the second column in my data. So that's probably going to be different for you. Then in this line of code, you need to replace this range with the range of cells that you want to sort. So my range is A2 down to the bottom of column B. And that reflects the data that I'm using and that I will potentially use in this worksheet. I haven't included the column headings because I don't want to sort that first row. Then the only other thing you'll need to change is false here. False means that it's going to sort in descending order. If you want it to sort in ascending order, then just put in true. I'm using false because I want the top player at the top of my list. So once you've done that, give the script a title. So I'll call it sort by school and then click on rename and then make sure you save it. So then you can close down this window and what I'll need to do in my demo is rename my sheet so it scores and then it should work. So if I put in a score for Bill of 90, Bill should go to the top of the list. And then if I put in a score of 200 for Brenda, Brenda should end up at the top of the list. If I add another record down here, and Ben scores 1,000, he should end up at the top of the list. Obviously, I'd need to then apply some of the formatting. Okay, that's all I want to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.